Hey guys, and welcome back. So today uh, is a big day because we have a new update from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So just a couple of things before we go and update this. Um, the first thing you want to check is you want to make sure that your Windows is up to date. So I did check today. Uh, everything seems to be fine for the Windows update. And the second thing you want to make sure is that your graphics drivers are also up to date. Um, I have also checked and the current version as of right now is 4, 461.40. Um, so the graphics driver is also up to date. Okay, so now we're going to install the actual update. Um, so it's going to ask you where to install it. This is new, I haven't seen this one before, but I know that my actual game is installed on my K drive. So we're going to install. So after this install is done, we're going to start up the game and then there's going to be the secondary uh, part of the update, which is going to be the game. And then we're going to have to install the actual pack that gives you the UK update. So just give this a couple of seconds and we'll go into the sim. We'll start her up and uh, do the download there and see what's new. Okay guys, so here we are at the installation manager. So this is actually what they've updated in the sim. So let's just take a quick look at some of the, the new features. So fixed various crashes across the title. Fix the specific crash while using the little nav map and bush trip activities. Um, I think the world is probably the biggest part. So several terrain spikes have been fixed, including incorrect cases of water elevation issues. I think that's huge for a lot of people. Water masks have been updated across various locations in the world. This is also big. I know this has been asked for quite a bit. Reduce the frequency of water artifacts appearing on cliffs, which is nice. Noise issues affecting clouds has been fixed. So that's the grainy clouds I think people were complaining about. So I'm not going to read through all these, but I'm going to just scroll down so you guys have a chance to look at the updates. Uh, this whole section here is for the VR. This next section here is for plane updates. There's the navigation, inputs, then we have the SDK dev mode, so the developer mode options, scenery editor, aircraft editor updates, uh, I don't know what this is, WASM or WASM. And this last one is pretty neat, Sim Connect. So fixed flight load and save from six, uh, Sim Connect flight load, Sim Connect flight save options. So that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and update this. And then uh, we're going to head into the Sim and we're going to take a look at the new uh, UK update. Okay guys, so the update has finished installing. That was a full 23.39 gigabytes. Um, one thing I did notice was initially when we saw that drop down where it told you to choose your drive, be very careful with that because if you don't uh, correctly point it to the drive where your simulator is installed, you may run the risk of the simulator installing it in a new location, which means you're gonna have to download a whole 108 gigabyte file for the simulator plus all the updates again so let's continue and see if we can find the uk now in the store so we're greeted now with a new world update united kingdom in ireland it has a new splash screen 
So we're just going to wait till this is loaded and once we're back in the sim we're going to check the store for the new update. Okay so here we are in the sim. Let's take a look and see what's new. So right at the bottom right hand side you're going to see World Update 3 United Kingdom and Ireland. Let's click on this. So this has all the news um, for the new update. The way to now get this update, which is free, is we're going to go into the marketplace. And in the marketplace, you'll see here the big square that shows World Update 3. You're going to click on this. And it says here you can buy and download. It is free. So we're just going to download this. And it should start downloading. If we click on the little bell notification at the top here, uh, okay, so it's purchase pending, so we have to wait, and you'll see that it'll start to download on its own. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. There it is. So this is another um, update that's going to be another 4.93 gigabytes. So I'm going to let this run, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes to see if this is completed yet. Okay, so now that this update is complete, we can see here in the notification area everything that is downloaded. Okay. Now we want to go back to the home. We're going to take a look at the profile and we're just going to look in content, content manager to make sure um, that there isn't anything that's missing. So updates I have available zero, which is good. And the one thing that I want to check now is, uh, I think it was recommended that if you have the London pack from Orbix installed, that we should remove it. So let me just see. Yeah, so I do have the landmarks from Orbix installed. I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to delete it. Again, this is recommended. It's I don't know if it's going to conflict or if it's going to be a big issue, um, but that's pretty much it. So we can now head back home and let's see what else they've added onto the sim. So I should be fully up to date now. Okay, so here from the main home screen, we don't really have anything that's new um, other than the Westray to Papa Westray flight. I think this is specific for the uh, United Kingdom and Ireland update. Um, but if we go to our map, the last thing I want to check is I just want to make sure that everything was updated and we have all of our new point of interests and airports, which looks like they're all here. So I'm going to end the video off, um, off here and I'm going to do a next video showing some of these point of interests and airports. So if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, have yourselves a great day and we'll see you guys in the next one.